In December 2016, um, the band Wolf Alice put together a really special event in London. Uh, they got together with 11 other indie bands and they put on a covers night at Cameo, which is a tiny little club gig in Shoreditch. And the aim of the, of the gig was to get people together to raise money for refugee charities. And what they did was they brought together bands who had never played together before, put them in, in one room, had them play on the same stage at the same time, and played songs that they would never normally play. They played covers, they played the Rolling Stones, they played all sorts of things they wouldn't otherwise have played. And the buzz was enormous. People came from all over, all three nights sold out instantly, and an enormous amount of money was raised for this charity. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is that what it shows is the value of scarcity. In the world of digital information, there is absolutely nothing that you can't copy. There's nothing that is not uh, instantly available wherever you are. Even medieval manuscripts are being copied and uploaded onto databases and available everywhere. And as a result, there's nothing finite and people are beginning to crave things that belong to them alone. They want something that's special, something individual, something that nobody else has experienced. So if you can create something that is scarce, something that only a few people in your audience will get to experience, then what you do is you create a desire to be part of something. And there's a double effect because the people who were there have this fantastic experience or uh, this fantastic item that they can, that they can keep. And they will get really uh, excited by your brand, they'll get really involved, but also those people that weren't able to make it will have this real feeling of FOMO and they'll want to have been part of it. And so you get a natural organic uplift in the impact of your brand from those who were there and experienced and those who didn't experience it. And it's something you see all the time in, in London, for example, there are secret gigs going on, there are secret bars, where places that you're not supposed to know about, places that you have to go through challenges to get in, and it generates a buzz in and of itself. Um, and what you'll see in terms of results is you see that people will share it very naturally on social media, they'll want to tell their friends that they are one of the select group of people that were involved, um, and there's also really strong word of mouth. Uh, what you've got to do is find some nook and cranny that Google can't get into, somewhere that uh, the internet can't take people, and set something up there for your brand that people can experience and own for themselves. Um, and then you will create these kind of two tribes within your tribe of, of brand followers, um, and it creates a, a whole new impact um, that the world of digital has perhaps created as a, a new way that we can reach people.